God bless you and welcome to our Sunday School rendition of the Parade of Quartets. Here is Psalms 100. The title of the lesson today is Make a Joyful Noise. It's a powerful psalm and when you look at Psalms 93 through 99, you get a sense that the writer is dealing with the kingship of the Lord as the writer describes how he reigns, how he's clothed in majesty, how he rules, how he's strength how he's exalted. And then when you get to our lesson today on the hundredth number of Psalm, there's a shift that is being made from not just the king, but how we respond to the king. Notice that our lesson begins today highlighted with the call for all the earth to enter the Lord's presence. The King James renderance of this verse one says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Eugene Peterson writes it in a different way in the Message Bible, on your feet, applaud God. This is not a mandate, this is not a command, but rather it's an exhortation, it is an encouragement for the people of God to come before the Lord and to scholar, to scream, to shout, to celebrate what the Lord has done. The writer then moves to the scene of celebration in verses two and four, make a joyful noise. It's a scene of celebration and it's not just any noise. The writer is saying that the noise that is to be made is a victory noise. Here's the picture. It's the picture of a battle that has already been won before it's been fought. It's the picture of what soldiers would do on the battlefield as they would celebrate in anticipation of what God was getting ready to do. That's what the writer is saying. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. What battles have God given you victory over? What storms has God helped you to get through? Then the writer says in the closing of our lesson today, it concludes with a knowledge of the greatness of God in verses three and five. He begins by saying, no, it speaks to life's experiences. There are some things in life you just know. And when you know what you know, you got it. You understand the goodness of our God. I pray this lesson has blessed you. My prayers for you and your family.